All right, folks, grab your popcorn. Kazra Mean got more plot twists than the drama she's starring in. Remember her role in Serenade of Peaceful Joy? Slim, lively, and earning the nickname Little Joshin. But fast forward to the longest promise, and things got... Well, let's just say the fantasy glow-up wasn't quite what fans expected. Critiques flew faster than a viral meme about her wide-set eyes and large nose, which had some viewers feeling like her looks didn't quite hit that fantasy vibe. Ouch. Not only that, Wang Churan, the second female lead, totally stole the spotlight, and side-by-side -side comparisons with co-star Shell John weren't doing her any favors either. But hey, every show has its ups and downs, right? Ren Ming wasn't having it. She called in a top makeup artist to fix what she implied was a botched job by the original stylist. Drama alert! This ticked off netizens, who accused her of throwing shade at the longest promised glam squad. The stylist clapped back, exposing Rinmin diva behavior. And just like that, any goodwill vanished faster than an influencer's apology. But wait, there's more. Rinmin got a new historical drama, The Rise of Ning, dropping soon. Early stills had fans buzzing. She looked slim, snatched, and with brows that could cut glass. Everyone thought she might finally leave the longest promise criticism in the dust. But guess what? The latest trailer just hit, and plot twist, her face looks fuller, nose back to its old ways, and fans are now screaming Photoshop fraud. Netizens are already advising her to dodge historical romance dramas altogether, but guess what her next gig is? You got it, another historical piece. This time, she's bagged the lead in Chang'an Arshithu Ji after what sounded like a casting battle royale against Chen Doling, Leo Mengyui, and Zhou Ye. Now, skeptical fans are wondering, is this the sequel to the visual drama we didn't ask for? All right, on October 8th, 2024, Liu Xiao Studio decided it was time to hit pause on the rumor mill and drop some truth bombs. There's been a flood of online gossip about the 25-year-old actress's family, political views, and even how she landed her acting gigs, allegations as wild as your uncle's conspiracy theories. Her studio fired back, saying, nope, not happening, to all the shady whispers that her roles were booked through sketchy deals. But wait, it gets better. Among the rejected claims was the big rumor that Wu Yixiao was set to star as Yir Shifang, aka Lord Rainmaster, in the live-action version of Eternal Faith with Zhang Linghe. Yeah, about that? Totally false. The studio made it crystal clear she's not taking on that role, and they've had it with all this fake news. So, what's next? Legal action, baby. They're on the hunt to track down those behind these baseless rumors, and it's about to get real. Now, onto the real eyebrow razor. The actress posted some cute mid-autumn festival photos on September 19th, and bam, instant controversy. Some critics found the timing a bit awkward, considering it was the day after the anniversary of the Mukden incident on September 18th. Oof, talk about bad timing. As if that wasn't enough, things are heating up between the fan bases of Zhang Linghe and Du Yuxiao. Fans of Zhang Linghe, who's got his own drama-chasing jade going on, are fuming. They're accusing his agency of playing favorites and giving Wu Yuxiao a leg up in the industry. Drama, drama, drama. Even though both stars are signed with the same agency, Star Times, their fan armies are not having it and are practically at war on social media. Oh, and let's not forget the backstory. Wu Yuxiao and Zhang Linghe starred together in My Journey to You, her breakout role, no less. Looks like the on-screen sparks may have ignited some real-life rivalry, or at least between their fans. Hold on to your seats, folks. Cheng Luri, the dude who gave us all the feels as General Sal and a familiar stranger, and threw down as Gong Song Jiao in my journey to you, is back and hotter than ever. Remember that intense chemistry with Assassin Yu Shao that straight up stole the spotlight from Dong Ling He and Yu Su Xin? Yeah, we're still recovering from that too. But let's not get sidetracked. This year, Cheng Lai leveled up again in the historical comedy Follow Your Heart, where he played the second male lead and somehow managed to outshine Lo Yunxi. Like, come on, how does one out General Lo Yunxi? Skills man, pure skills. Now, Cheng Lai has officially stepped into leading man status, headlining two dramas, Legend of the Female General and Shadow Love, alongside Zhou Ye and Song Yi. He just finished filming Zuji, a Republic of China era drama where he plays a lawyer for the first time and looks fantastic in a suit. Fans are loving his mature vibe. Think slick hair and a suit vest. Cheng Lard is known as a hot CP actor, with past chemistry with Wu Yixiao and Zhou Ye. In Zuji, he's set to create sparks with Li Nian, who plays a doctor in a Chi Pao. Their Weibo photos have fans excited, promising another round of on-screen chemistry. Oh, and here's a little fun fact to wrap it all up. Muji tells the story of a house in the French concession of Shanghai that's seen more drama than a sea drama marathon, from a maternity hospital to a factory to a residential building. And with Cheng Lord front and center, you know we're in for one wild ride. So, get ready because Cheng Lord is out here proving once again that he's not just a pretty face with a sword, he's got range folks.
And if anyone asks, yes, we totally called dibs on him first. Get ready, drama lovers. Bai Lo, the queen of Chinese TV, is back in the spotlight, and it's not just because of her stunning performances. This girl climbed to fame through her early roles in Untouchable Lovers and The Legends, but she really hit it big within Jialun, in one, and only, and forever, and ever. Last year, she was a busy bee, partnering up with major heartthrobs Lo Yinxi, Wang Herbi, and Zhang Ling He in a trio of hits, Till the End of the Moon, Only for Love, and Story of Gunning Palace. Talk about a lineup that could make anyone swoon. Now, it wouldn't be a Pelu news report without some spicy romance rumors. While filming story of Unning Palace with Zhang Ling He, fans were buzzing about their chemistry. But with both rising stars busy, their management probably said no dating. This led to whispers of a quiet breakup last year. To add more drama, she's now linked to Moonlight Mystique co-star Oipeng after they were spotted looking like a couple in matching outfits in Dali Yunnan. If that's not relationship goals, we don't know what is. Speaking of Moonlight Mystique, Bailok has three dramas lined up for release, including the period piece Northward, the fantasy thriller Moonlight Mystique, and Lament of the River Immortal. The hype is real, especially since Moonlight Mystique has already racked up over 2 million reservations. The drama is currently in post-production and is set to hit screens during China's winter vacation in February. Recently, Bailo gave fans a behind-the-scenes peek on Weibo, joking, I've probably recorded six crying scenes in a day. My tongue is all tied up. Classic Bailu. In a show of dedication, she was seen pacing the studio after lunch to memorize her lines. One day, just as she was about to leave, she realized she hadn't recorded key scenes for the next day. What did she do? She rushed back to the now dark studio to prep, dedication level, 100. But wait, here's the kicker. During one of her breaks, she was humming, if heaven has feelings, when, out of nowhere, she switched gears and started reciting her lines for the upcoming scene. Talk about multitasking. Stop the presses, folks. Dili Rabai just dropped a heartwarming bombshell on her legend of Anler co-star Gong Jin. While he's busy flexing his acting chops as the mysterious assassin Uyud in Tales of Dark River, Dili Rabai sent a care package stuffed with snacks and milk tea to the set. Talk about a snack attack. The production team couldn't hold back their excitement, sending a thank you note that read, thanks to Mr. Gong Jin, prettiest good friend Rabai little cutie, for treating us to delicious drinks and treats. How cute is that? This gesture highlights the bond between Dili Raba and Gong Jin from filming The Legend of Anla. Even though they're not working together on Tales of Dark River, Dili Raba is clearly supporting her pal. But not everyone is celebrating. Some fans who ship them as a couple see her gesture as romantic gold, while others prefer to keep things professional and think she crossed a line. You know how fans can be. One person's cute moment is another's, oh no, she didn't. Despite the mixed reactions, it's hard not to feel all warm and fuzzy seeing celebrities genuinely care for each other behind the scenes. Remember when Ilya Raba sent food trucks full of goodies to the set? That's the kind of friendship that gets our hearts racing. So, what's the takeaway here? Dili Raba got Dong Jin back, and the drama surrounding their friendship is keeping fans buzzing. It leaves plenty of room for speculation about where their relationship is headed as they juggle their upcoming projects. That's a wrap. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and smash that notification bell so you never miss a scoop. And remember, folks, take everything with a grain of salt, even the snacks. See you next time.